This is a Tico variable frequency drive, 220 single phase input and 3 phase 220 output. Uh, this is we're just running it. Uh, I've already changed the functions. We can look at those now. We press display and we go to function 1 and we press enter. That's the ramp up time. I said it's 4 seconds. Default is 5 seconds. Press enter and that ends function 1. We bring it to function two, that's deceleration time. Press enter. I said it's a two and a half seconds. The default again is five seconds. Uh, I prefer to have it de decelerate a bit quicker, um, but accelerate more slowly so that if something were to happen to not be aligned properly, you have more time to catch it. But if you need to stop the machine in a hurry, you're able to do that as well, which is one of the fantastic features of running a variable frequency drive. Press enter, then of course there's some other functions which I will not run through. Um, I th believe function 7 is to change the frequency control from these buttons here into this analog stick. Ultimately I will change these to an, a separate control station so I do not have to use these small annoying buttons in order to operate the variable frequency drive. Now the default is 000, I believe. Oh wait, excuse me, that is actually, function 7 is actually the maximum motor speed. Um, of course, it's a 60 hertz motor. Um, I set it to overspeed at 90 hertz, uh, which isn't taxing the motor too much. Um, then I think it was function 4. Let's check. No. I'll have to consult the manual quickly. Yes, it's actually function 5. That's what we need. So function 5, if we check that, it's set to 001, which is to use the analog stick in order to control the motor frequency rather than the push buttons. 000 is the default, which is the push buttons. And of course, you have other options to set it to an external knob, which eventually I will do. Let's confirm that. Now, by pressing display function, which is this button right here, let's get a focus, right here, this will change it back to see the frequency. Right now it's displaying zero because the frequency knob is set at its lowest point. And of course we could increase it up to its maximum of 90 hertz. Let's start it off real slow, which is one of the great things about a variable frequency drive. So let's say 4.3 hertz. Right now, the motor is not connected to the lathe. This is just a test, but you can... The majority of the noise actually comes from the VFD there than the motor. These three-phase motors are remarkably smooth, but by pressing run here... Oops, excuse me. Run. The motor ramps up to speed, and we can increase the speed using this knob up to about half speed which is 30 hertz and then 60 hertz which is the default for the motor and then of course we can overspeed it up to 90 hertz at which point you can start hearing the motor a little bit more of course the motors down here in case better view for you until it spins very, very slowly. And one of the fantastic things, again, about the BFD is that even when the frequency is as low as 2, 3 hertz, it will still have a lot of torque. So you won't actually be able to stop this motor very easily by hand, which, on a, if you've ever ran a single-phase motor, you would, of course try to stop it by hand and it would stall very easily which is one of the great benefits of a three-phase motor on a lathe is that you're able to do turning operations at a very slow speed
which is very beneficial to doing large diameter pieces as well as very fine work such as threading um, or finishing operations. Now, I'll run it back up to speed. Let's say full speed here. And of course you can see that ramp time coming into play, taking a little while to ramp up. And if we were to click stop, it ramps down relatively quickly. But to get back up to speed, it takes a little bit longer. And there you go.